what is going on guys in last video we have successfully designed the order list page where we have displayed all the orders details like order id order date order status and also the number of orders in this video we'll add the functionality for adding items to the favorite and removing the items from the favorite also we'll design the favorite list page where we will show all the products that are added to the favorite we'll also learn shared preferences in this video so without any ado let's get started so to add products in the favorite and remove from the favorite, we will create some methods. So whenever we click on this icon, it will check if it is already added. If it is not added, then it will add. Otherwise it will remove. So from here, we have to call the function. So that function will create in app util. So here what we will do in the app util, we'll create a new functions. So we have two options to store. One thing what we can do, we can store it in a Firebase. As you know, we are storing the cart items, we are storing the orders. In the similar way, we can store in the user's collection. Here you can create a new collection favorites and with the user ID, you can store the favorites. But we are not doing that because we already have stored a lot of things in a Firebase. We will try a new thing. So here, what we will learn is how to use the local storage. So local storage will be the storage of your Android phone. It will store the data not in the cloud. It will store in the phone. And whenever we want to retrieve, we can retrieve that. So it won't be stored in a fire restore database, but it will be stored in your phone local database. So for that Android provide us some features like SQLite or we can use shared preferences. So in this video, we will use shared preferences. So for that, what we can do, we will create some functions to add and remove from the shared preferences. So here, what we will do, first thing we'll create some variables let's say preference name here it should be unique preference name let's say favorite pref so we need this for shared preferences and one more variable we will create key variable so let's say key for favorites we can store lots of thing in favorites so for product list we'll use key favorites that we'll call as favorite list that's it with these two variables we'll get and store in the shared preferences so we'll create three methods that will be add or remove from favorite first method second method will be check favorite let's say and third method will be get favorite list so from here we'll get the list here we'll check either our product is in the favorite list here we'll add or remove so first thing we can do is here get the favorite list because before adding we need the list of favorite so here what we will do this will return set of string because all products should be unique one product cannot be added two times in the favorite so it should be set not the list so here first thing we'll get the preferences from the android context so we need context also context so context dot get shared preferences we'll pass the preference name when we store the shared preferences we'll use the same name right now only we are getting so preference name second parameter will be context mode so it will be private that's it we'll get the preference now from this preference we have to get the we have to get the favorite list so we have the key favorite list so return preferences dot so preference dot get string set because we'll be storing set of string here we have to pass the key that will be key favorite if there are nothing we have to pass empty set if it is null we will just return empty set that's it so whenever we are getting from preferences it will check if there is nothing in the key favorite it will return empty set if it returns null we'll return empty set from our function so that is what we are doing so here we have to write return statement so that whenever we will get the list it will return it will return to this method it will return to the color method so here we are done with the get favorite list it will get from the preference using the key that's it now add or remove here what we will do here first we will get the list of favorite from where we have method favorite list and we'll pass the context we'll get the context here as well so context since it is a set we have to convert it to the mutable set so that we can edit it we got the favorite list and we converted it to mutable set now we'll check if list dot contains product id whenever we are adding or remove we'll pass the product id so here after context we'll add the product id so that it will check now here if it contains product id then simply we'll do list dot remove product id that's it else if it does not contains list dot add product id so what it will do it will check on the list if the it is already there it will remove if it is not there it will add that's it here we'll add the toast as well so so toast context it will do item add it to favorite same thing here it should be item removed from favorite and item added to favorite now we are adding in list not in the shared preferences till now we are getting the list but we are not adding in the preferences it will just add in a local variable so now what we have to do we have to push this list to the shared preferences so here also we will get the pref this variable we require to add here we were getting here we are adding so here now we will do now similarly here we were getting here we will edit so prefs edit 
here we have to do like we were doing get here we will do put put a string set same thing key favorites same key we have to enter and what we are adding this list so this list will add in this way it will add to the preference that's it we need the preference name to get the preference and key wherever we are adding and while getting same thing we are doing so this function will add or remove from the favorite that's it this function is also done now in check favorites what we will do simply we will check here we will get the context and product id so that we can check it will return boolean so that we can show here either it is added or not now here get favorite list context dot contains product id then we can return that it is there else we can return directly false over here that's it we have created three methods and those are complete now we have to test it so what we will do first thing whenever we click on this icon it will be added or it should be removed that's it so where this is this is the product details view so we'll go to product details view here we have the icon if you see on click we have added to do so this is the icon so here we have to do the changes so first thing what we will do here is we'll create a variable so that we can show either it is added to favorite or not so here i will create a variable is favorite equals to remember so that it will remember the state whenever it is changed it will automatically reflect so mutable state of here we have to enter the value so we will enter the value from app util dot check favorite whatever the value we have send the context and the product id we have the product id of the item in this way it will check favorite from the app util and assign the variable to is favorite variable now we can use this is favorite here first we have to do here image vector so if it is favorite already we will show some red icon over here otherwise this is fine so here in the image vector if is favorite dot value equals to equals to true here what we can do if is favorite value equals to equals to true or we can directly do is favorite dot value then we'll show something else we'll show this icon so here icons here we'll show favorite this one field one this is not field this is field so in this way if it is added to the favorite it will show the field one otherwise it will say the border now we are only checking it so on click of this we have to change it also so here in the on click what we will do app util dot add or remove from favorite we'll pass the context product id that's it either it will remove or it will add so now if i run let's go and add this tv let's click on this you can see item added to the favorite but this is not changed if i go back and again come you can see it is filled that means it is checking it is added to the favorite and it is displaying the filled favorite if i click again it will remove from the favorite but it is not changed if i go back and come again it will show the correct one so what we have to do whenever we are adding or removing after that also we have to change the value of is favorite so here is favorite dot value equals to we will check again appetite dot check favorite context and product id so it will change the value whenever we click on it now if i run if i click you can see it is changed if i remove it is removed so this is working if i go to iphone you can see it is added if i remove it is removed so if you want to change the color to red what you can do is we can add one more property over here we have the tint property if is favorite dot value if it is true then we can then we can add color dot red else what we can do color dot whatever it has gray if i go now see it is red already now in this way it will work but i don't want this i need the default one so i will just make it black that's it you can do these things now we have added the functionality for adding and remove from the favorite but we have to show all the favorite items in the list over here if you see favorite here we should show all the favorite items right now if you see i have not added this let's add this one and this macbook air i will add these two things should be visible in this favorite so for that what we will do we'll go to favorite view page here if you see in the pages we have favorite page here we have to add here we have to add the designs if you go to electronics category you can see the electronic items if you go to fashion you can see the fashion items same way if i go to favorite i should see the favorite items from different categories whatever categories we don't need that we just need the items so for that same thing we will do in the categories we have list of product id same thing we can do in favorite we have list of product id so here we are getting from the firebase here in the favorite page we will get it from the local storage so same thing we have to do that's why i'll go to the category products page if you see over here we are getting the product list and we are showing in a list so first thing i'll copy this I'll remove this 
paste it here go to favorite and we need this launch defect as well so here we'll copy and paste here we can we are passing the category id then we are getting the products from firebase but what we will do from the products page we'll get all the products that are added in the favorite so first thing i will get the favorite list so value favorite list equals to app util dot get favorite list we'll pass the context here we need context also context equals to local context dot current let's pass the context it will get the list of product id we only have the product ids so we'll get the product data like image the details from the firebase with the id so here we were passing the category id but not we will do where in so that we can pass the list id of product is equal to favorite list so this is the set so we'll convert it to list that's it we'll get the favorite list and we'll pass in the products collection so that we can get all the details of the product so everything will be same over here now if i go and and let's say we will print it product list dot value dot to string let's say if i go to favorite you can see we have the product macbook air and the tv we have added in the favorite it got from the shared preferences then it fetched the product details from the firebase so now we can design so here first thing what we will do we will design like your cart similar like this and then we will show the details here i will go to cart page and go to cart page and copy this column modifier whatever we have in the favorite page i will add it below one bracket missing here in a it should be your favorites if you go to favorite now you can see your favorites now below this we can show the products view same way we are showing in the category you can see over here from the items we are showing as a lazy column so i'll copy this here i'll paste it now you can see immediately we have the favorite products over here we can remove this padding we have double padding over here now you can see we have the favorite product if i go and add fashion this shoe also go back favorite you can see this is added now i can remove from here as well you can see it is immediately removed remove this you can see it is working so if i again remove this the app crashed because there is no products value over here so here what we can do if so if we don't have any product if favorite list dot is empty then we'll assign product list dot value is equal to empty list so if there are no products we will assign empty list and we don't have to call the firebase so for that i will cut this out and paste it inside if we don't have any value it won't call the firebase now it should not crash it should not crash because it will not query the firebase see it is not crashing we can show a text over here simple like in the cart page we have else no items here i'll copy this column same way here this lazy column will show only if if product list dot value dot is not empty will show this lazy column else will show the no items here now if i go to favorite no items here you can write no favorite items here whatever you can write now if i immediately add this iphone go back to the favorite you can see it is added so this is working this is how we can store the data in the shared preferences and we can get the data from the shared preferences in this way the local storage will work we are not storing anything about favorite in the firebase so that's all for this video in next video what we will do we'll create the search functionality as you can see over here we have this search button we have not added any function to this so whenever we click on this it will open a page and it will search for the items like we can search for the tv or we can search for the iphone it will display over there so if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video bye bye